this week on the bench, we're going to tie you up the Claret Microleach. This is a great little pattern to use when the fish are selective and a little bit finicky. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. We'll use a 2x long nymph hook, size 14, to tie on, some 6 aught wine thread, some Claret Marabou for the tail, body, and collar, some fine copper wire for the rib, and a 1 8 gold tungsten bead for the bead. To start the fly off, I've taught on my wine thread, and you may have noticed the bead is quite large for this fly. We want an extra big bead on here, because I want that weight. I want that fly to undulate in the water. So make sure you do use that 1 8 tungsten bead. You want it bigger. I've taken a clump of our Claret Marabou, and again, don't worry about the length of the tail at this point, because we're actually going to pull it off to create this proper size. Just tie it in at the back of the hook, and then what we're going to do is pull it to length. Now don't cut it. We want to pull this. You want to get it about hmm, just a little shorter than the hook length and then just pull it off with your with your thumb and fingers to create the tail. Once the tail's tied in, take a strand of your copper wire and tie this into the body, the full length of the body, and we'll use this for ribbing up the body a little bit later. Next we're going to create the body. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can actually take your marabou and, uh, and take off some longer strands and wrap it, but I prefer again to dub it. So I'll take, take my Claret Marabou and just pick off little pieces and, and dub it onto my line. And once we have it dubbed onto our, our thread, we're going to wrap it forward to create the body. Now that the body's tied in, we'll take our copper wire we had sitting off the back of the hook, and we're going to take about four or five wraps up the body to create the ribbing. The next step to the fly is take some another clump of marabou, of your claret marabou, and what we're going to do is right behind the bead, we're going to just lay it over the hook, let it spin around a bit, take a couple of turns of your thread, and let it wrap around that hook. And what we're going to do is flare a collar on there. The last step to the fly is to whip finish it off, and again, right behind the bead. You don't have to really make it too thick back there, but you just want to make sure it's whip finished good. Four or five turns, and cut off your excess thread, and if you like, you can put a little head cement on there. So that's the finished Claret Microleach. The most important thing about this fly is flaring that collar. Make sure you flare the collar back so it's about the length of the hook to give it that lifelike appearance. Are you still doing the weed trimmer tap dance? Stop hopping around and get the grass gator load and cut. It's the simplest yet most effective weed trimmer ever.